Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. I noticed this the other day, but when it's real hot outside, I say over 85, 90 degrees, my charging gets really low. It varies between 12, 6, and 13. It should be varying between 13, 4, and 13, 7, 13, 2 at worst. So, there's two things you need to check. One, you need to check your battery cable, see if it's hot. If your battery cable is not hot, that means your alternator is not charging properly. So, on the alternator issue, you either have a bad regulator or the alternator generator portion is going bad. I normally bet my money on the regulator, mainly because if it's cool out, it'll charge at 13, 4, 13, 7. So when I pull over here, I'm gonna fill the battery cable. I think I did that once before and it was nice and cool, but I got a regulator from the salvage yard a day or two ago that I'm gonna swap in here. Next time this engine cools down. Kicking off the tinker day. Finish putting this Camry back together so we can make sure it starts with the new fuel pump. Then jump on that 850. Let's check it out. Well, now I know where that wrench went. After you get your box secure, you want to go ahead and set your air filter in there. Dust it off if you can. If you got some stuff there, you could tap it on the ground and, you know, just get unnecessary dirt out of it. No big deal. Now you want to get the top of the box and align it back the way it needs to be and secure it with the clips on the corners. Air box is clipped all four corners. Connect that sensor back up or slide it back in that hole. Make sure your air box lid is under the plenium. Put the screw in there to secure that. Then secure your intake hose. Don't over tighten it. You don't want to damage or break anything. So all this stuff is back together. We can go ahead and fire this car up. Anytime you mess with the fuel system, replace the fuel filter or the fuel pump, you need to prime the system to get pressure built up in the engine before you try to start it. So what I do is I turn the key on, see if I can hear the fuel pump. I could not hear it, so I'm going to bump the starter with the key. That should start the fuel pump. Let it sit off four or five seconds. Do that again. Let it sit off four or five seconds. Do that one more time. Let it sit four or five seconds. After three times, that should prime gas up there. Now try to start the car. You may have to hold it as long as 10 seconds. cannot hear the fuel pump. Sometimes when the fuel pump goes out, it blows the fuse. So we're going to check the fuse up here, see if it's any good. Pushing these little tabs on both sides, that lowers it out so you could get the coin holder out of the way and check your fuses. None of these say fuel pump, so let's go out under the engine compartment. You got fuses and relays here, you got fuses here. 
after all that car is still not starting so it's not a fuel pump problem however more YouTube excellence investigation if you're cranking the car and your RPMs not moving you probably have a crankshaft or camshaft position sensor that's out no movement in my RPM that will likely cut off fuel and spark so let me see if this car even has a crankshaft position sensor I know it has a camshaft position sensor as part of the distributor if you feel that this information was useful please like it and share it with your social media friends you can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post you can follow me on Twitter and if you need to contact me directly please visit my website and if you have any questions leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them again thank you very much for watching